from ABC7. This is Eyewitness News. Community effort to battle graffiti art with kids art appears to be working. And we're talking to some of the young artists whose murals are decorating local construction. Fighting graffiti is a never-ending battle. One construction site has been tagged so many times it's fighting back in a most unusual way. Now at 5, Eyewitness News reporter Amy Powell explains how art is being used to put a stop to taggers. I need a girl, a son, a flower. Third grader Jade Mutukulu and her classmates from Metro Charter Elementary School are proud of the art they've created to replace graffiti in their community. I see graffiti on poor, poor trees, and I hope they don't die. I knew that they were going, that it was going to cover the graffiti, and I and I like that because I because whenever I drive, I see the gar, I see the graffiti, and, and it doesn't look good. Dozens of students transformed the once graffiti-covered fences surrounding a construction project in the South Park area of downtown LA into colorful works of art. It's part of a test project dreamed up by the South Park Business Improvement District to try and keep taggers away. Graffiti is a problem at several construction sites. On a regular basis, we probably have the fence tagged at any one night about five times. Um, and it was really challenging to actually get the fence down or replace. About 50 students from Metro Charter eagerly took part in the project. You could paint whatever you wanted to do. This one, I put a dumb duck to show everyone that, to show everyone in this world that you're gonna be, you're gonna be a great person when you grow up. And the artwork seems to be making a difference. Since this artwork went up, there have only been two instances of tagging here, a decrease of 95%. So it's, it's showing them that no matter how small your voice is, it, it matters. Amy Powell, ABC7 Eyewitness News. All right, the kids did a great job. A job.